Hello, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we'll learn how to use call tags in our live content module. All right, let's begin. We have a page here called Live Content Demo. I'll begin by logging in as an administrator. We already have a live content module on this page. So let's go ahead and add two elements to it. First, I'm going to add an e-content element. All right, we'll can have any text here so we'll just say live content is an awesome module and it can do many useful things all right let's go ahead and create that element we're gonna do a couple things here I'm just gonna call this a uh, live content up here I'm gonna go to appearance I'm gonna say I want a text link and stuff a thumbnail and go to integration and I'm gonna say the call tag here is um, awesome so let's add this in as you can see right here we have live content when you click on it this is what we see let's go ahead and edit this and we're gonna do two things first we're gonna reduce the width to about 250 pixels also I'm gonna hide this element notice when an element is hidden it shows this icon here to let you know that's hidden if you actually view the page the element will not appear. Alright, so this is how our element looks now. Let's go ahead and add another element, e module. For that, I'll grab a module from here called account login. I'll add that to the page and I'll add an element in now. Let's call e module. So from live content demo page, account login module. And I will go ahead and give it a title called login I will also reduce the width on this to 250 I will go ahead and give it a text link from integration I'll call the call tag login and I'll hide the element as well alright so now we have login and we have live content pretty cool so what we're gonna do next is see how we use this call tags let's go ahead and add an HTML module to the page in this HTML module I'll go ahead and paste some lower mip some, some dummy text that I've copied earlier in here I'll just save this right and this could be anything on the page we'll just call it an article on the page alright so let's see what if I want one of these links right here, one of these texts to be a link that would actually call the login module or a tooltip that will show me that live content is an awesome module. Well, that's a fairly easy to do with live content. Let's go ahead and edit this. And let's see, we'll take this text right here, I'll bold it so it's noticeable, and we'll make it a link. We're going to link this to live content and we're gonna provide the call tag for the element we want to link this to so I'm gonna call this awesome since that's the call tag we gave to our live content description and I'll hit OK and then I'll take this one right here I'll bold that as well just so it's a little noticeable and I'll call this one live content login Hit OK and I'll save this. Alright, so if I click on this and everything's OK, I should see the live content up here, which it does. And if I click here and if we did everything OK, we should have the login up here, which does not. So let's see what, what, what we didn't do correctly here. Call tags are case sensitive, so we had a upper lowercase here. I'm going to just change this to lower lowercase. That's what I used it there, and that should work just fine. There we go. All right. So we have this. Now, what if I want this to be a tooltip? That means automatically appear if a mouse over it. That's pretty easy. We just go down here and we say uh, on mouse over and we do update. Now, that will work for this one right here, but it will not work for this one. The way you make this on mouse over is you go back to your content 
and in your link you simply add a comma off the call tag and you say on mouse over all lowercase you hit OK to save and now if you scroll over this it will automatically launch just like that alright let's view the let's view the page and that's how our page looks right now notice we still have this appearing which we probably don't want since we were using the module functionality within this text right here so that's very easy to get rid of since we already have our elements hidden all you have to do is go to the container of live content module and just uncheck display container option alright let's log out to see how our page looks that's how it looks now just an article if you go over this appears the live content tooltip if you click on this appears the login module so that's how easy it is to use call tags which is a very powerful feature to allow you to use live content elements outside of live content module it's allow you to use create tooltips and other fantastic applications thank you for watching the video if you have any questions or concerns please do contact us thank you